Hey folks, today is May the 28th. It's currently 636 in the afternoon. We're going to look at doing our MG Pro EA week number two update review. As you can see here, last week we did 1.34%. So we had a very good start to this uh, updated testing. Let's go ahead and see how things have turned out for our second week here. All right, scroll down here to the bottom. And as we can see, overall, we're currently up 3.17%. Drawdown 1.13%. So everything is uh, looking very good right now. All right, so as we can see here, this week we actually did pretty good. Very good, actually. 1.81%. And as always, anything above 1% is extremely good in my eyes. Anything approaching 1% is definitely good to me. All right. So with that being said... Things do seem to be going good after we switched our settings and after we switched our broker. It is probably important to remember that there will be an update on June the 1st, I believe, is when the updated version of the EA is coming out. And you're going to want to be out of all of your trades. And I know they did, I believe, send out a message in the Telegram group asking people to, uh, I believe, cut off the EA and start letting it manage the trades to get out of them. But... We'll take a look at that momentarily here. But before we jump into the VPS and take a look at that news, let's go ahead and take a look at what news we had in the week or for this week. And as we can see here, Monday, not much there. Tuesday, some NZD news. I don't see anything else. We got new home sales out of the U.S. That could have potentially given us a little spike there. And Thursday, we had pending home sales. Unemployment claims there, prelim GDP, and Friday, I don't really see much there. Sometimes uh, Chicago PMI can give a little spike, but not a whole lot this week that would uh, test us or give us whipsaws or too, too big of spikes. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in now and take a look and see how things happen this week. And as always, we can see here, we have smiley faces on all of our charts here. And we'll go all the way over to the MyFX book link, smiley face there, so we know everything has been uploaded successfully. All right, and the first day of the week is the 24th. So let's come down here and take a look. All right, so it looks like we got started right here. And it looks like we only had two losing trades this week, as we can see here. And we have some nice size winners. $10, eight twenty nine, dollars $10.30, $8.29, $8.26, $15.45, $12, $10, and our loss is .73, $0.73, and $7.70. So we definitely made significantly more than we lost this week. Let's go ahead and check on the drawdown going into the week. Okay. So we don't have any drawdown going into the weekend, as we can see here. And I might look at going ahead and uh, shutting things down, turning off auto trading here. So that way I can update things. All right, as you guys saw, I did just go ahead and turn that off. We got frowny faces now across the board. So once I get the new updated version of the EA... Since we're out of all our trades, I'll go ahead and uh, update that in here so that next week we'll be able to start trading with the uh, most recent updated version of the MG Pro EA. But yeah, things are definitely uh, going good since switching over to our new settings and our new broker. All right, let's go ahead and jump in now to the Telegram group. Give me one second. All right, let's see what the team had to say here. Diversity is key to benefit from robot trading. And I agree with that. And let's see here. MG Pro EA 100K account this past week. Looks like they earned 3800 in their live account this week. And let's keep on floating up here until they get to the point. Well, that's interesting. FTMO Challenge Robot coming in June. We will have to take a look at that once it comes out. All right, dear MG Pro clients, as we mentioned, you all need to off and remove EA and be ready for a new update. If you have open trades in drawdown like AUD Catter, etc., 
Go to the pair chart, click on the smiley face to see input setting, go to comment tab, uncheck off, allow live trading. This will let the EA to handle the current trades, but no, not open any new trades. So that is what they're saying in here. And you can see that's allow live trading where you uh, click that and it'll turn it off. All right, now let's go over to their website and see what their accounts have done. Forex MG Pro right here. I believe they have two accounts. All right, let's take a look here. So it looks like this account here, the smaller one, deposit 510 bucks. We can see they earn 2.67% in that account in that account and over here on the account that they recently started and we can see here they started that one at the end of uh, April so a little over a month this one has been running but we can see here 2.86 percent so this one has been doing extremely well and like I said this is a one hundred thousand dollar live account and I believe this one's been running longer and it's currently up for the month of May, 10.86%. So they are doing extremely well with their live accounts here. And for me, as you guys can see, like I said, 3.17%. But obviously, we have not been uh, trading. I believe we've only been trading this for two weeks now. I think this is our second week of trading with it. Yep. All right. So as we can see, if you've been trading for the full month, 10.86% there, 10.99% there. So if you've been trading for the full month of May, you should have uh, most likely passed the 10% mark with the MG Pro EA. And didn't mean to click that. All right, I think that is everything I wanted to touch on with this. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever on the MG Pro EA, and we will, of course, continue to uh, test this out at least for eight weeks, two months. And once we get this new updated version, I'll let you guys know what settings I'm using starting next week. I'll talk to the uh, vendor about that and see if there's anything that needs to be changed for the account balances or anything like that. But yeah, like I was saying, if you guys have any questions on MG Pro EA, make sure you send them my way and I will try to get those answered for you. And if you want to test it out for yourself, make sure you guys use the link under the video or if you're on the website here, it'll be right above the video. And as always, I definitely appreciate everybody that supports the YouTube channel. All right, folks, hope you guys have a great weekend. And next week should be an interesting uh, update. We will have had four days, five days with the with the new version, new updated version of the MG Pro EA. All right, folks, I'll see you then and take care.